Hey, it's Anya. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on my YouTube channel. And this series is all about metaphysics and the occult and spirituality and so much more. And for this video, we're going to talk about routines a little bit because. I have been, oh, this is something I've struggled with <laughs> for so many years. I feel like I say that on every video. I'm like, oh, I struggled with this. I struggled with this. But I really did. And I really am still struggling with routines. And I had a revelation the other day when I was trying to like figure out how to create the best daily routines. And I was watching some morning routines on YouTube because there are lots of morning routines on there and evening routines. And I wanted some inspiration. And just to see, like, I always like to see how other people do it. And I wanted to see how how they could be so consistent with it. Like, how they could stick with a morning routine and do the same thing every day. Because every time I would try, I, like, I would do some things. Or I would do it for one day and I would do it perfectly. And then the next day, I just couldn't do it. Or I would do a couple of the things, but I wouldn't do all of it, you know? And I didn't really understand how they could do the whole thing every day, you know? And then morning routines always look really perfect and everything. And I'm just like, how, how? (laughs) So I was watching one of them and I can't remember who it was, to be honest. Like it was a random video that came up when I searched morning routines. And she did a disclaimer at the beginning of the video and said that this is not what she does every day that we are human and that this is just the like ideal morning routine that she would want to have but that she doesn't do every single thing every single day and when she said that it sparked such a revelation in me like the fact that she said we're human made me realize like oh I'm actually probably not going to ever be able to do that many things every single morning because we are human and depending on your birth chart as well like if you have a lot of water placements like I do we're in our feelings a lot (laughs) like I tend to do things based upon how I feel so if I'm not in a good mood I'm not going to want to do it whereas other people can push through that and they can just kind of like move those emotions to the side and go and do it but I can't do that like my emotions just take over (laughs) and I just can't do it you know and obviously I'm working on that because that is what spiritual practices are for to work on gaining more control over our emotions rather than being consumed by them so I'm obviously working on that but at the same time we are human all of us, no matter what your birth chart is, we're all human, we're in a human experience, we feel emotions, and there's going to be days where we don't feel like getting up at a specific time, or we don't feel like meditating that day, or we don't feel like meal prepping that day, or maybe we don't feel like visualising our goals that day, you know, maybe we don't feel like journaling that day, like, it's actually okay to not do those things every single day and we don't have to beat ourselves up if we miss one or two things or if we do none of them we don't have to beat ourselves up for it because because we're human like let's just let ourselves live like why does there need to be so much pressure and literally I'm speaking to myself right now this is just a channel message to myself and I'm going to watch this back afterwards because I need to hear this and drill this into my goddamn head we don't need to be perfect 24 7 we can mess up we can miss things out our days are never going to be 100% perfect with every single thing that happens and that includes our routines and who even wants to do the same thing every day over and over again like who who even wants to do that because that's not fun that's boring you know and some days like you may want to go out with friends or you may want to like you might have an event to go to that's not going to happen every single day it's a one-off thing so how your day unfolds is going to be different and putting so much restriction on ourselves to create this perfect morning routine to make ourselves feel incredible it's not going to happen because you're not going to feel incredible every day and yes that routine and having those practices of like meditation and things will help your emotions and it will help your thoughts 
but punishing yourself for missing it when you're human is not going to help your emotions or your thoughts, you know, like they're counterproductive. So it's incredible to have a idea of what your perfect routine will be, but that you don't have to punish yourself if you don't achieve every single thing on that list because we feel and we think and we're allowed to breathe, you know? allowed to breathe that we don't have to restrict ourselves and suffocate ourselves so much and this is something that I do all the time and I get really frustrated with myself if I don't do all of these things and then that frustration makes me even more fed up and even more depressed and sad so it's just a bit of a vicious cycle you know and I'm sure there's other people that struggle with this as well so yeah I just wanted to put this message out there and Hopefully we can learn how to take the pressure off and write out our incredible morning routine and then just do one or two things off that list. And if you do none of them, that is okay too. Maybe you'll do it later on in the evening, maybe you won't, but things happen, life happens, you know, and the fact that you're consciously aware of what practices you want to do that tells you that you're improving yourself and that you're progressing. You're not being stagnant by missing a day. You're not being stagnant by missing a couple of things. You're being stagnant if you go months and months without even thinking about it, you know, without even looking at your list of what you want your routine to be like. That's when you might be stagnant where you've completely fallen off. But if you're just having a couple of days random days where like you might miss everything you might miss a few things or if every day you just do one thing like you've achieved so much and you should be really really proud of yourself for even thinking about doing it let alone doing it so yeah I think um one of the main things I do the most is punish myself so I want to put this message out there for anyone that struggles with this too because Morning routines, when we let ourselves breathe, can be so incredible and so powerful and so beneficial. So we need to just take the pressure off and let ourselves flow a little bit, you know? We don't want to do the exact same thing at the exact same time every single day because that is literally like robotic autopilot. Yeah, that's not living, you know? So... Anyway, this was a nice little rant to myself and I am definitely watching this video back over and over again until I get this goddamn message because, you know, repetition, repetition, repetition is the key to programming your brain. So you should definitely make that a part of your routine and watch lots of videos that kind of rewire your thoughts and rewire your brain like making that habit is key and that's something that I also want to implement but we can't beat ourselves up over not doing that every single day you know like and also when you take that pressure off and you stop beating yourself up you're more likely to want to do it and then you will be more consistent but because you keep punishing yourself you're not going to be consistent because now you're feeling shit and who wants to do anything when they're feeling shit who wants to do anything when they're being pressured into doing it you know that's not fun it sucks the life out of it and the joy out of it so these practices are supposed to be something that helps spark your day like it helps you boost you and lift you up so that you're feeling motivated and inspired about whatever it is you've got to do that day but if you constantly like punish yourself and beat yourself up then you're not going to feel inspired and then you're not going to want to go and do the other tasks that you've got to do that day so I think we need to just make it a bit more fun by taking the pressure off so yes, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And don't forget to check out the description box for all links to my music, my website, my merch is now available. And also my phone number is in the description box as well because I do send out daily motivational, inspirational and spiritual thoughts in text or WhatsApp. So if you're outside the UK, you can definitely WhatsApp me instead because it's completely free. Or if you're in the UK as well, you can WhatsApp me because then it's completely free so yes thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye oh yeah thinking like me yeah i'm icy cooling in the white tea oh yeah thinking like me yeah i'm icy cooling in the white tea oh yeah thinking my i'm not thinking like me my range all white oh yeah 
think he might I'm the thing he like, be my ring, Joe White 